everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be grooming this curly coated golden doodle Depo. So I start out with a 3 4 inch guard over my 30 blade on my Andis AGC2 clippers. Um, and just working from the back of his head forward, not putting too much pressure down. You don't want to take off too much length. Um, you can always clean up any flyaways or things that hang over the eyes with scissors. I'm using that same length on the ears. Usually um, I recommend you can use the same length you use on top of the head on the ears um, or something shorter. I don't recommend doing it in the reverse way. So. A shorter head and longer ears. Um, I don't think that looks that proportional. Um, but yeah, for Debo, I just skim over his ears with the 3 4 inch guard as well, and then I'll take some length off his ears with scissors uh, later on. So I'm just skimming off that extra hair off where his bangs are and on the side of his face. Um, this will cut down on some of the scissor work time and using that guard along his chin as well, just to get off that extra hair. So I'm just using my straight shears and trimming off the excess hair that falls over the eyes. Um, it's up to you how much you want to take off. I try not to like make it so his hair is so short above his eyes that he doesn't have like the nice brow look for his expression, but yeah, just taking off that extra hair that falls um, in front of the eyes. So after trimming and cleaning up his bangs a little bit, I'm going to brush his, um, his hair just to reset it because I have been holding his face with my hands. You want the hair to sit um, in the most natural way. So I'm just brushing back his hair a little bit on his snout to see what type of hair sticks in front of his eyes. And anything kind of like sitting and covering his eyes on his snout, I'll trim off. I recommend you do this for curly coated uh, doodles or poodles. Um, this helps so that if the hair is kind of poofing upwards, that you kind of clear their line of vision. So taking into account if the hair is sitting up or if it's hanging out the side of their face, just trying to round it a bit and make it look even. So I've been using my curve shears, um, it's kind of hard to see, but just to round out and blend the hair I took off with the clippers initially on the side of the face and blend the like backmost part of that muzzle hair up towards the front of the ear canal and just kind of pulling down hairs that get stuck in his mouth because what I commonly see is that dogs with um, kind of curlier, longer hair can wrap around teeth and cause uh, tooth rot. So um, yeah, just be mindful you're checking their teeth and making sure wet hair isn't stay, like, getting caught in there because it can um, harbor bacteria.
sorry I'm blocking the camera a bit, but what I'm trying to show here is that just lightly hold your dog's um, muzzle so that you're not making the hair sit in a totally unnatural way because your hand will make the, the hair push forward or something, something like that. And then once you brush the hair over the nose, like forward a bit, trim off anything that hangs really far forward off the front of the nose um, just to clean that up. And then you can round it a bit with some curb shears. Again, you can always redo and brush forward and trim off excess hair. In fact, I recommend going over um, this spot a few times just to make sure all the stray hairs are being pushed forward. And again, checking for any of those wet hairs that dogs will just naturally lick into their mouth.
So I'm just brushing out his ear, um, brushing it down. And then I'm just going to trim off the extra hair that hangs down. His parents don't like his ears to be too short, but I do try to keep them to match the length of his chin. Um, when looking at a dog, I think when their ears are at the length of their chin or shorter, um, it looks better. But to each their own. I know people like their dogs to have longer hair sometimes, but I think this looks the most proportional. Here's Steve-O after. Um, I hope you found this tutorial helpful and thank you so much for watching. Bye.